Well, hello to the very few people that um, have an interest in my channel. Um, I think I'm not doing a headshot video today. I'm just going to do a, um, a video that sort of breaks down how I manage all my clients uh, with my system and some things that are little tricks that I've done to make it a little bit easier for me as well. I won't use any of these existing clients here. I have made up a fake, a client, a fake client account here so that you can see um, so I don't have to keep on blurring out all the screens. Now, um, <clears throat> at the moment, I think I've got around about 180 or so clients um, that I've done websites for and are still running, actively running. So this is um, all the clients here that I've got within the system. So as you can see, there's a lot of clients. Now, it becomes a little bit tricky when some of these clients ring up and start asking for information, help, logging into the websites, doing things. I have to access their information quick and um, I have to access all the sites as well. Now there are some fantastic sites out there. Um, one of them is my Joomla. Okay, now my Joomla is quite good. Uh, so what this does is you put all of your Joomla sites in there. Now this is only for Joomla and I use it as a Joomla content management system. So you put all your sites in here and it basically gives you a breakdown of all the websites that you've got running, um, who needs updating and how many, how many updates you can put monitors on it. It's a very great little system. Uh, I do believe you can do like a trial and um, put in like one or two websites uh, so you can get an idea of how it runs. So look, that does manage everything. But of course, it doesn't keep um, all the information that I really need. Well, all the information about the client that I need, obviously, because it's a lot of sensitive information, I, I wouldn't like to put it onto that website. Uh, let's go into the fake client account. Now, I've made this up in a Joomla system, and I've also used um, the Zoo uh, component. So Zoo is um, a Uthemes product. Uh, Uthemes is a fantastic um, template um, provider, and also they provide... Um, they provide uh, widget kit which is a great little um, component for Joomla um, and also they provide Zoo which is like a, a, a database builder and um, it does lots of things so go to Zoo and check out that that's if you you know use Joomla they also do WordPress as well they also have a great theme that's come in a website builder now um, with, with their uh, Uthemes Pro templates so check out all that stuff anyway so looking at the client information so what we have um, in the layout is really all the information I need to get to the client quickly. So when somebody calls up, um, you know, I want uh, pretty much as soon as I call up, I start type, typing in the name uh, over here and start searching for the client's uh, details. Uh, and that way, because they've always, you know, have problems with things in the website, so I have to get to the website quickly. So down here, I've set up a whole row of quick links to the website. Now, of course, these won't go anywhere, but um, they'll just open up, um, open up a browser, open up this browser, and um, go straight to the website. Um, we have the admin of the website, the front end of the website, and if the site's in development, then this is also the temp front end and also the temp um, admin. Um, and this is to edit all the information on the page. I also have the client's name here, um, which is a individual, uh, a separate component. So um, basically, because I can assign the client to various uh, websites, because some of my clients have um, their one name naturally, but they've got three or four websites. So let's have a look. Um, first tab here is all the client information. Naturally, this is all fake information. And um, second one has all the domain information um, that I need to access their domains. I don't really usually need to access the domains too much. Um, usually, sometimes if I'm um, changing them from one hosting environment to another or I upgrade my servers. Um, so this keeps all of the information here. Um, and then all the hosting details. So what server they're hosting on, generally it's one of mine. Um, and then their cPanel information, usernames, passwords, IP addresses, um, database, um, database details and everything. Uh, and then also in the um, email section, I have their webmail address here and also all the email accounts that they have up and of course any diversions that they have. So all of this information about their email accounts on one page. And then we go to local folders. Now this is a great little thing what I've done, um, happened to stumble across here. I 
always with so many clients I have a problem and to give you an idea this is my client's window um, and these are all the clients that I have so all of these clients there um, if I have to find anything I generally have to go to the folder I have to find it on the um, on the NAS server and then um, go into the websites area and I've made shortcuts and everything all over the place so when you're looking here um, you know I put things quick access and so on so naturally in the window system um, so I've done all that to sort of get to there quickly but I've still once I get there I've got to go and find the client that's self alphabetically and you know so which is not a big deal but when you do it um, 20 times a day 50 times a day it gets a little bit monotonous so what I've managed to do here is I found a great little plugin um, into um, the Chrome into Chrome and what this plugin does is you can open up a folder within a browser environment. So normally you can't do this. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain to set up. So I've got this um, plugin here. You download a little bit, a little program, um, and it installs a program. And basically, a link will open that program, which will open up the file. So to give you an idea, um, what happens here? So let's do this, and we'll close this down. So uh, all the folders that I have up set up for the client. So at the moment, this is the main thing. So let's say this is the client here. So in the client um, area, I have, um, I've always break, broken down to um, the backup for the client, um, client details, anything they send me, the website, um, and also all the work files that I do. So Photoshop files and um, whatever else I need to edit all goes in there. And of course, this is all the site files um, from the Joomla system that I, I edit, which is usually just some images and some template files. So what I've done is, um, is I've uh, I put in all the links to this, and basically when I get to the client, then when I want to get to their folder, then all I do is click on that, and it opens up the folder. Really, really, really easy. I love it. Um, it's <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do it years earlier. So that's a big thing. F um, going through folders is the biggest pain in the ass when it comes to um, working with multiple clients. So anyway, so these are all the relevant um, folders that they the client may have. Um, also, what I've done over here is put quick links to um, my server. Now, all of these files are on my NAS, um, which means that any computer in this house then can call up this uh, website and also go to the same files as well. So it's very handy. So we have websites, um, logo projects, if I want to go straight into all my logo projects and so on. Yeah, so... Um, that's the local folders and of course all the admin section this is where we log into the admin um, if uh, I happen to have any sort of extra um, information uh, that the client provides uh, then all of this goes into here also admin notes so that's a breakdown of everything now um, you'll probably see a little bit better as well uh, when I edit um, that you can see all the um, things that I can put in. So this is the client, uh, the logo and so on, company names. Now, uh, this is the contact. Now I can have multiple contacts um, because sometimes some websites have multiple um, people uh, working with them So and multiple contacts that I may have to talk to. Uh, and then all the domain information. Um, and then uh, we have this thing where I can add multiple um, instances if I need to sort of do more and more and more. Um, so it sort of just grows. Um, yeah, so look, that's probably a breakdown of um, my client area and how I manage all my clients. And it's really good because, um, you know, ultimately, if I am uh, get a phone call, uh, the phone rings, then really it's just a case of um, me typing in that while I'm talking to the client calls up their stuff. I click on there. They're, by this time, they're already talking to me saying, oh, I'm having some problems with the emails, whatever. I go, yep, I'm hosting. Um, and then normally this has a link to it, but I have no hosting. Uh, so then it clicks straight into their hosting and so on. Or if they have any issues with any of their logos or things like that, then I hit the local folders. And then that way I'm talking to them um, and getting things done and out the door nice and quick. Now, there's one more thing that I've added into this system. Um, and this is, uh, let's see, the website flow. So I've got a set, a breakdown, a workflow of everything that I do. So let's call this fake site. 
and then we'll apply it to the fake site. There you go. Okay, website special and so on. Now, um, submit and now that's linked. Um, this particular workflow is linked to my fake client. So once again, I just type in search and find the client nice and quick. Now also you'll see on the panel there from the search panel, it's got all things like contact information. I'll go back. Uh, so um, I always find that uh, I don't need to go into the panel, but I just need to give them a call. So all their contact information and everything is on that front panel. Um, but if I do need to go into it now, we have a uh, workflow added. So nothing fantastic yet, but uh, with the workflow, I've set it up so that um, uh, in different sections. So the first section is really a breakdown of um, what I do for the client. Okay, so this is uh, basically stage two uh, is what I do in the sense that um, they've paid, they're ready to go, but they haven't given me any information yet. So I've got a, a, sh a, a list here of things to do. Now, um, what I'll do is, is as I go through it, then I basically I'll just mark them off. Um, or if I have to come to something later, or if some things aren't even required, um, then I'll mark them like so. Uh, and these processes are very good if you get somebody else to come in and um, do a bit of work with you, um, because then basically all they have to do is read through and um, they'll, they'll know the steps that they have to do to sort of make things work within your system. Um, so once again, uh, I have uh, these links here that open up into the actual um, folders on the um, computer and so on. Plus also other links, um, startup kit information and so on. So all that sort of thing. Um, and also some of them um, I have like a more information on what to do. Um, so more information uh, explaining a little bit more in depth and this is something that I'm going to build over a period of time so my hope is to get other people in working um, and then they can work by this workflow and um, yeah and then basically I can take a holiday once in a blue moon okay so we go right down to here right to the final parts um, of everything to do so um, if I save that now Then when I go to the client and I can see then the workflow breakdown of what's been done um, and I know what to do, what's been done, where to catch up because uh, sometimes I may be working on a website and then all of a sudden you get phone calls and you're taken away from that project and you have to sort of come back. So this is a really handy way to sort of take up again from where you were left off. It doesn't show everything that has to be done because each client is individual in, in what they have and what they want. But look, this I find that these things are common with every website I build for the most part. And um, you'll find, you know, you'll get a lot of these things here yourself um, and you'll find your own processes. I always find it's best to write down your processes um, and that way from one job to the next, your quality can be consistent. All right, so I think I've gone on enough about this stuff. Um, also, um, some people may find this uh, a good system and want to use it. Unfortunately, it has been um, hacked and built with Zoo and so many other components um, and only my twisted brain really knows how it works. In other words, I really haven't built it um, for uh, use other than myself to sort of add things and so on. So it gets a little bit complex. So I guess what I'm saying is um, please don't ask if you can use it because naturally um, I built it over a long period of time and also you'll probably want to build your own. Uh, but it's, this is an idea on on how to build something to sort of manage a lot of clients. So all I've used for this is Joomla, um, Zoo from Uthemes, and um, also a few other things from another um, developer called Regular Labs. So um, now Regular Labs do a lot of plugins and components for Joomla, and they take it to another level. So um, check out this guy. Look, if you're, if you're a front-end developer, you use Joomla, you probably already know about these plugins. I joined up um, for a lifetime because I always use it. It's an uh, integral part of what I do.
Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I guess I'll talk next time, and hopefully it won't be too long before the next video.